Uh, today is the uh, 14th of, um, of uh, September. Uh, we are talking, like, actually, we have the pleasure to talk to Joe that we rescue from the hospital uh, because they were going to do the wrong treatment. Uh, Joe, as you can see, is well, uh, is well sound, it is like a good recovery after one hour. And Joe is going to tell the story now. So everybody, they should know exactly what's happening in the, in the, in the hospital. Please, Joe, can you address what's happened, please, to, the, to, your, to, your, to your case, please? Thank okay. You. Uh, I was admitted to, to Letterkenny Hospital. I was admitted to Letterkenny Hospital on Friday, and uh, I was told I had COVID, and uh, I was put on a uh, oxygen mask and uh, left on it over... Uh, four or five, five nights and uh, I haven't been fed properly. I've been tested uh, for um, every every so often and uh, as you can see my, my wrists there and uh, they're, they're just destroyed from uh, people taking blood tests from them and uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a mess. So uh, I was told several times, I was told several times that uh, the only option would be to be sent to the ICU and that, that I would be put into an induced coma. And uh, one doctor said that uh, they would ventilate me for about 16 hours. And uh, I, uh, I disagreed with that too, I didn't. I would, I would never allow myself to be to be uh, put into induced a coma by anybody. So uh, I didn't know what was happening out in the big bad world. I know I know my friends in the common law office uh, have been working all tirelessly and getting all the uh, the the uh, common law paperwork, which the boys brought into the uh, into the hospital this morning. And uh, my good friend Antonio and my wife came into the ward and uh, they told me to get, get out of here. And uh, yes, I didn't know whether I was going to have the capability to do that because I had been wired up for so, so long uh, to this machine. And uh, they told me that I was at full capacity uh, of, of oxygen and that uh, it doesn't seem to be working. So uh, amazingly, we took off the machine, uh, off the uh, the um, we took off the the uh, the um, oxygen machine, and uh, I'm breathing perfectly since. Uh, I got my clothes, dressed. And with the assistance, with very little assistance required, I walked out the door of the Letter Kenny Hospital and uh, I have no intention of going back. I'm going to get um, uh, self medicated at home by, by uh, some professional uh, people and uh, advice from the most learned people in the land. And uh, again, I wish to uh, let everybody know that. that uh, it's a very, very dangerous place in there, and that they, they, uh, they seem to just tell you whatever they want you to hear, and uh, there's. There's no talk of, uh, there's no talk of, of uh, doing anything to, to alleviate the situation, so. Uh, Hopefully now I'm getting medication here at home, and uh, that uh, I'm not that really really that bad. And uh, I wish to see I hope to see you all very very shortly. Keep up the good fight, everybody, and uh, uh, and uh, again I can't say enough thanks to uh, Antonio and Michael and all the guys doing the all the the common law paperwork. Uh, Patricia Caha, uh, Patri uh, uh, Dolores Caha, and, and all the fine people involved with us here. 
and uh, we're going to be saving lives. Thank you.